Okay, most of our old trucks didn't come with seat belts at all. If they did, it was just a lap belt that somebody put in later on, which they're fine, but if you get into an accident, it doesn't stop you from smashing your face into the all-metal dash. So what you, what's best to do is get a three-point seat belt, the retractable three-point seat belts are the nicest, so that's what we're going to install in this. We'll go down to Brothers, we get our kit inside, we get our instructions, our lap belt, and our retractable seat belt, and all the nuts and bolts you need to do it. So the first thing you do this piece and you make sure your straps are even on both sides. We get our L-shaped L -shaped bracket right here and for this truck we're going to put it on like this. We get a fine thread bolt. want to install it like this with your head here and the threads here. Reason being is if you turn it around the threads will stick out here and it makes it more difficult to put the bolt through here when it goes through the floor. Now, I'll show you what we do inside the cab. Now, normally, on most cars, you would simply put this right about here somewhere. The only problem is, is that with the seat frame in here, this won't work because you won't be able to shut your door. You can see it sticks over. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go behind into this little corner right here. Tighten this down first, make it a little bit easier to work with. Okay, I like this bar slanted forward towards the seat. And this bracket's going to be straight down. Okay, so you can see how your seat belt is going to fit back there. So we will mark the hole right there and drill it. Okay, we've got our hole drilled down here on the bottom. So now what we'll do is we'll drill our hole for our shoulder right here in this arm right here. We'll take the, the uh, upholstery off right here and then we'll be able to slide our other bolt down inside. And in the car, you want to try this in a couple of different locations, just holding it up here and seeing how it feels against your shoulder. Generally, it's best to go up a little bit higher than you need to because uh, if you go down too low and it starts digging in your shoulder, it's uncomfortable. So if you go up high, then you've always got a little bit more forgiveness room there. Now, where this bolts in right here is about three and a half inches from right here to right here. So three and a half inches down works for me. If you're a little taller, a little shorter, you might go up or down from there, but that's pretty good. Okay, so in our hole, it's going to go right here for our top shoulder. We're going to use this bolt. It's got this little bit of a flange or edge on it here. And you want to drill it just large enough so that the bolt will fit through but not pull through the flange. Now what we'll do is we'll take off our trim here and we'll slide our nut behind here. Okay, now we'll get one of these flexible tools that you typically use for grabbing lost nuts that fall down in the doors and what have you. And we will attach it to this funny looking little nut right here, which is going to slide into the back right here. But how we hold on to it is we get this and we clamp it on. 
Okay, get this and clamp it on. And then using electric tape, we'll tape it up so that it won't fall off. Now we're going to want to put enough electric tape on there so it doesn't fall off, but not so much. We can't pull this back out when we want to. Okay, so our bolt's in. Now we can pull this out. Good deal. So we'll tighten this up. We'll put the plastic cover that comes on it. And we'll bolt all this back up. Okay, and that's what it should look like when you're done. And you should be able to move this around. So now we'll bolt in this bottom piece. Okay, for bolting in the bottom piece, you'll use your long fine thread nut or bolt. Your nut and then the wide, wide washer goes underneath the cab. The reason being is if you were to just simply bolt this on the bottom when you got into an accident, this would tear right through. So this here is going to go on the bottom of the cab, uh, on the other side of the bolt, and when this tears, it'll have a lot larger area to help secure you in. Now what I like to do is uh, also clamp it with one on the top because this sandwiches the metal together and makes it even stronger. So if you got an extra large washer lying around, toss that into the mix too. Okay, so when you bolt it on, that's what it's going to look like. You're going to have your nut, your bolt, your washer, your bracket, a, another large washer if you've got one laying around, your cab or sheet metal is going to go right here, large washer on the bottom, small washer, and your lock. Okay, with our shoulder straps all bolted in, we'll go ahead and put our lap belts in. So what you want to do is actually sit in it, hook up your belts and uh, see where it looks like it'll be comfortable to bolt this in okay so once you figure out where you want it you go ahead and drill your hole through the bottom of the cab and then you bolt this baby on same as you did the last time it's gonna be the long fine thread bolt you're gonna use the bolt the washer your bracket then your sheet metal or your cab is gonna go in between here if you can find another large washer, use it. Then you have your large washer, your smaller washer, and your lock nut. So we'll bolt those in and be all done.